Hey guys, this is a video on recurrence relation. Um, in this video here, we want to solve this recurrence relation three times t of n divided by three plus n cubed using the iteration method. Now this can be easily solved using the master theorem and um, I would suggest using it, but we're gonna do the iteration method here for it. So let's start off, we have our k value. So our k is gonna equal one and we have t of n equals three times t of n divided by three plus n cubed. Now usually I don't like to write with this marker here, um, but I believe I will run out of board space quite a bit if I don't use such a small marker. So um, now what we need to do is we need to figure out what t of n divided by three is. So I'm gonna put a little dot here. T of n divided by three is going to be equal to three times T of n divided by three divided by three plus n divided by three cubed. And so this here is just equal to three times T of n divided by nine plus n to the power of three divided by uh, 27 or three cubed. So now what we can do is we can plug this back into our equation. So we're gonna say k equals two and now our t of n is going to equal three times t of n divided by three, which we said is this equation here. So three times t of n divided by nine plus n cubed divided by 27. And then we need to add back our n cubed. So plus n cubed. Okay, so let's simplify this. We get nine t of n divided by nine plus n cubed divided by three, three divided by 27 is nine plus n cubed. Okay, so next up now, we need to figure out what is this t of n divided by nine. So I'll put a little dot here, t of n divided by nine. Well, that's equal to three times t of n divided by nine divided by three plus n divided by nine cubed. Okay, and so I'm gonna simplify this. We get three t of n divided by 27 plus n to the power of three divided by nine to the power of three. And I'm gonna leave it that way. So I don't have to do any hard multiplication right now. I don't have to think about it too much. So now we're on iteration three, and t of n is equal to nine times t of n divided by nine, which we said is this here. So that's times three times t of n divided by, I mean three times t, yeah, of n divided by 27 plus n cubed divided by nine cubed and then we have to add the rest here. So plus n cubed divided by nine plus n cubed. Okay, so let's simplify this here. We get 27 times t of n divided by 27 um, plus n cubed divided by nine squared plus n cubed divided by nine plus n cubed. Okay, so now I can actually see a pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out general form, which is what we want. And we want the general form for K. 
or whatever the k value is. So our t of n is going to equal 3 to the power of k because when k is uh, 3, we have 27 here. When k is 2, we have 9 here. And when k is 1, we have 3 here. So that's how I got that. Times t of n divided by 3 to the k. Same thing. Here is 27. Here is 9. And here is 3. So k equals 1 here. 3 to the power 1. Uh, 3 to the power 2 is 9 here. And 3 to the power 3 here is, uh, here is 27. So that's where I got the 3 to the k. So this may be the tricky part here. These last uh, few extra numbers. So what this actually is is 1 over 9 to the power of k minus 1, right? Because when k equals 3, we have 9 to the power of 2. When k is 2 here, we have 9 to the power of 1. And I'm going to actually put under here 9 to the power of 0, 9 to the power of 1. Here we're going to put 9 to the power of 1, divided by 9 to the power of 0. And this right here can actually be written as n cubed divided by uh, 9 to the power of 0. And so we're going to keep adding um, 1 over 9 to the k minus 2 plus, I'm going to put dot, 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 all the way till we get to 1 over 9 to the power of 0. And all of that is divided, I mean, all that is multiplied by n cubed, because we have n cubed for each of these here, each of those spots. So I hope you all see that. So what that is, that's a summation. So we're going to rewrite this again. 3 to the power of k times t of n divided by 3 to the power of k plus the summation from i equals uh, 0 to k minus 1 of 1 over 9 to the power of i. And this whole thing is multiplied by n cubed. Okay, so now if you know anything about summation properties and summation equations, um, take a note here because uh, I'm going to put note that the summation from i equals 0 to uh, n minus 1 of a to the power of i is equal to 1 minus a to the n divided by 1 minus a. So this is what we're about to use to transform our summation here. So we write the general equation again. Uh, we have 3 to the k times t of n divided by 3 to the k plus now we have our, um, our, our, our rearrangement of the summation here. 1 minus our a equals 1 9. So 1 9th times k, because our n is k. And this is over 1 minus 1 divided by 9. And all that is times n cubed. OK, so you guys see why I had to use a much uh, thinner marker for this. All right, so what this equals, we write it again. We get 3 to the k times t of n, 3 to the k, plus uh, 1 minus 1 divided by 9 to the k. And we actually have a k here, but 1 to the power of anything is 1, so we can get rid of the k. So we have 1 divided by 1 minus 1 ninth is eight ninths and all this is times n cubed wow okay so now i'm gonna clear some room on the board now what we want to do is we want to get this general form in terms of n and we can do that by our base case. 
So right now we have we have our t of we have our t of n divided by three to the power of k. So we want n divided by three to the power of k to equal one, so that our t equals zero. And in there. So what this means is that n is going to equal three to the k, and log base. 3 of n equals k. So we're going to plug this back into our general form, which is down here. So wherever we see a k, that's a k and not an x, that's a k. Wherever we see a k value, we're going to plug in log base 3 of n. So uh, we write this here. We have t of n is equal to 3 to the power of log base 3 of n times t of n divided by 3 to the log base 3 of n plus 1 minus 1 over 9 to the log base 3 of n over 8 ninths times n cubed. Woo, all right, so let's simplify this again. Three to the power of log base three of n is n. Um, so same here, we have t of n, n divided by three to the log base three of n is n there, plus we have one minus uh, one divided by nine to the power of log base three of n is uh, one divided by n squared all over 8 ninths times n cubed. And so now this equals n times t of 1 plus, uh, if we rewrite this here, we get 9 eighths times 1 uh, minus 1 over n squared times n cubed. Okay. We said our t of 1 is equal to 0, so this is n times 0. So we just rewrite. I guess I'll write it all out here. n times 0 plus 9 eighths uh, of n cubed minus n cubed over n squared. I multiplied n cubed here. And so now we get. 9 eighths times n cubed minus n. And this is our answer to our recurrence. So this means that our recurrence is big theta of n cubed. Okay, so thank you guys. I um, hope you learned a lot from this. I know it's a lot of math. I would never suggest doing this by iteration method. Definitely use the master theorem um, for this. It'd be much faster and simpler. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, leave comments, questions, and I'll be sure to answer uh, one of your questions like the user here who gave me this question to answer for them. See you all later. Bye-bye.